Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions and for No Stylus, and today I'm looking at an application called Fetch Notes. And in Fetch Notes, what you've got is the thing where you can have your own notes and you can share them with other people as well. And it's all kind of based around a bit of a tagging system. So, for instance, here we go. I've just set up something on the iPad here and we've got a few notes in there. So, for instance, I want to have a look at things to do with books. So if I tap on there, I've got the ones there. I've got the tag of books in there. And this is one I put in there earlier. Came up with that Amazon reference there by itself. I just put the uh, the title of the book and the name of the author in there. So that's quite interesting. And let's go back to this here. Let's see the side of it here. What I did is I actually set up uh, two accounts. Set up this one here called uh, Wizard Gold. I've got one here called Spond Issues, but I opened up in a browser. And what I've done is I've done it so that I'm sharing notes between the two accounts. So where this could really work out quite nicely is if you're using it in a school maybe and uh, you've got a few sort of school friends together all sharing notes. And in fact, these notes don't have to actually just be text notes. You can add other things to the notes. So for instance, this one here, let's start a new note. So let's say it's class notes, okay? So you click on the word attach there in your note and up pops this window that you can drag and drop files into. It's that easy. Let's go to another one. So you can put pictures in there. Let's attach a picture to this. And let's say we're going to use this one here. Don't know what's in it. We'll have a look and find out. Oh yeah. So that's sending the picture off, uploading it, and it's gone. It's there. Now I can make this a bit more interesting. So let's go back into this one again. And we'll go to the end of it. Start a new thing here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so that it is a, um, a to-do thing. Put the hashtag in front of it as well, so let's put the hashtag there. Maybe this is something to do with books as well, so uh, let's put uh, books in there. Just click off that and then it actually is finished that note. And it should be getting synced up to their server. And with this one here, what we'll do with this one, we'll do some sharing with this. So I'll start with the ad symbol, and the ad symbol I want to share it with is Wizard Gold. So that will be shared to the server and they actually shared out to Wizard Gold as well. So let's click off that there. So here we are back on the iPad again and we're looking at these notes that we've sent across. And one that we sent across was this one here that starts with gold followed by class notes. And you can see there's the file that's where you added into that note. If I tap and hold on that and then let go, it opens up in Safari and I can see the text that was in the note. So that's pretty handy, isn't it? So go back into fetching notes and go back and the other one was the one that started pictures so the picture actually shows up within the note on this one here so we can see the picture straight away and we can actually scroll through it and by the way if you haven't seen the uh, review that I did of money with go and have a look at it now because it's a really good application for looking after your money and I can hold down on this one here and let go and it opens up in the browser again on Safari on the iPad so that's how you can get images moved across, how you get text moved across onto your iPad using this note system as well. So it's a good little application for making notes, sharing notes, transferring files and text across from one person to another. It's got a lot of things that you could do with it. As I said, there's also that thing there where it will make the link up into Amazon. If you put in there some details, such as I put in the detail for the Joe Nesbo book, and also I put in details for a David Bowie album, and it gave me links into Amazon from that. So that could be useful too. So what we should also do with this as well is show you how to make a note on the iPad. So tap the button up the top right hand corner there and put the note in there. So, uh, so we've got details of the note in there. I'm going to put a tag in. You've got the uh, hashtags there, easy to get out. So you don't have to go through the keyboard to be able to get out those. So that's quite good. And also we're going to do a sharing on this as well. So this is going to go to Spondicious. Okay, so I'll put the tag in there. That means it's going to go to the right person. Okay, so I can save that note now anyway. Okay then, so we made a new note on the iPad. That one there, that was done at 9.14. Now what we want to do is we go to this one over here and refresh on that there. And this is the one that I just did, this one here where it says details of you note to do spontaneous fire with a goal. That was that's just shared out to me. So there you go. It sends your notes from one thing to another, no problem at all. You can go from the iPad to the computer or from the computer to the iPad. You can go from my iPad to somebody else's iPad.
So this is Dave Allen for Max and the Questions for No Stylus. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now. Thanks for watching the video and why don't you check out the other videos. Here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.